this game. All right, we're still looking around the the the, the, the uh, armory here. The storage. I don't trust Mike. Don't don't ever trust a Mike. Fucking douchebags. Look at him. Look. Ooh, he's shifty. Shifty. How the hell do I get out of here now? I have a I check the empty box. Is there anything in that box? Which one? In front of the doorway. Oh. Back. It didn't even look like it was a box at this point. Okay. This is it. He even labeled it for us. Inside. Bios of all the victims in old cassettes. Who uses cassettes? He uses it on his on his Walkman. It, it said 2006. Who uses cassettes? <clears throat> Trevor Davis used to walk around with his voice recorder so he could record any ideas he had. We should give it a listen. Do you have a tape player in your car? No. That hell no. See, <laughs> only a year old. Uh, I have a player in my car. Let's go back to the hotel and check it out. Cool. I'll leave the blood samples and evidence to the police station. I don't trust you. We'll keep Lee Davis files if that's okay. Please do. That's right. Mm hmm. Yeah, sir, I'm tired of, of listening to your cassettes. Can you get an actual modern car nope. for once? The cure, man, is good shit. See you. Wait. Don't leave me right. here with this guy. Oh, there I am. No, no. You, you can't do that. You have to go to your car. Let's go back to my car first. Ugh. Oh, I don't want to go back to your car. You can't make me. If they don't have cable, they might have a tape player. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Oh, you can't make me go. Going back into your smelly car and stop freezing on me. Here it's the car and inserts Lee Davis tapes. There is something very strange afoot. This is something simply unnatural. In my time as a sheriff, I have never seen anything like this before. Every crime scene lathered in the blood of its victims, yet no, yet never body, whatever. Always that smell of ammonia present in every scene, though all three scenes are in such different locations. Due to the amount of blood and damage pre present, I am... To assume that the murder was taking place, that the bodies disposed perfectly, this seems a bit too simple of an answer. I must investigate more. Furthermore, I find it highly disturbing that every confirmed victim come from the same college nearby. There must have been some correlation. I know it must be so. The girls in the sorority all knew each other, and the boy who was killed in the park was the boyfriend of one and uh, just read it people just yeah. read it okay so I'm not I'm not uh, it it's insinuating that that was the boyfriend because they didn't find the body at the mm. park okay It won't let me go. Huh. So. You felt a presence. Find out, uh, uh, Mr. Hill is a uh, is a ghost this whole time. Is it still on the same one? No, it's different. Oh. So it's pretty much telling us what we've already seen. Mm. Well, no, because uh, the college, they all went to the same college. Hmm.
So he knew something was going on, like he was going to end up dying or leaving or something. Mm. Okay, so I talked to you. Can you look at me? No, I'm not going to look at you. Look at me. You put me back in that car. Look at... Hey, just listen to the fucking tape. Okay, so what do we do now? Uh, try Uh, going to the hotel. Okay. Look at me. No. Why won't you look at me? No. I I do not appreciate your car. See, there's a P. It's a swirly thing. (sighs) So what do you think? Does that look like a P? Uh, it's easy to assume that the three cases are all related. After all, this small town hasn't seen anything major in years. Uh, it looks very calm. I mean, uh, there's been some wolf attacks over there, and, you know, look at my hair. Look at it. So flowy. Yeah, and the car accident was really caused by drunk driving, and the guy just left his car and wandered off somewhere. With that amount of blood. And what was found? Something was found in the trunk, right? And there's a note. It doesn't doesn't sound right. No. No, also these creepy notes. The one Lee Davis left us was his, that's for sure. But the one at the crime scene, I don't know. You think it might have been Lee Davis? I don't think it was him. Stan Lee. That's what the deputy at the time. Stan Lee Davis. Stan Lee. Uh, also, I can imagine such a decorated officer suddenly doing a murder spree. Seen, seen. I'm seeing strange some some um um cases. Okay, did you get a quick look at the files? Let's see. Did you notice that all the victims were under twenty four? All college students from. Same university. Did you notice that were, they were all under 80? And lived in the same sorority? <laughs> you know, they were... They were all humans. They all went to school. They all had a vagina escaping holiday. Once a year. But first, we should probably check out the evidence. Fingerprints, etc. Yeah, check out those blood samples, too. Isn't it insane that there are no signs of the bodies... Well, I, I thought initially they took him to the, to the morgue. No. There were no bodies? No. It doesn't say anything about that. No, there's no bodies. Everyone's saying there's no bodies. Okay. We have our work cut out for us. As long as the amateur deputy stores all the evidence, well, we should be able to crack this down. Nope, he didn't. He has something to do with it. We were pretty rough on him earlier. Come on. I know he deserved it. Chances are the trail has gone cold by now. This stupid hat and shit. Red. I like his hat. I want a hat like that one day. Ugh, Bert. Uh, what did he tell you while I was getting coffee? He was strongly Lee Davis was behaving after these cases. How he was recording on his tapes, taking notes. He wasn't sleeping or eating. Iron. Sure crammed a lot in a day. It's still three o'clock. <laughs> we have split in two days, but the trial would have grown even colder. I'm off to bed. Cool. See you tomorrow right. morning. Fine. Be that way. I'm gonna go over See there. you at ten o'clock. It's gonna be three o'clock. Wait, wasn't the clock here? No, the other side. No, the clock was over here. See, still three. Oh, hey, hey, you. No. Don't talk to me. <laughs> You're looking at me. Ah. No. I mean, you know I'm having one of my moments. Good evening. How can I help you with? No, thank you. I think. <laughs> no. Good evening. Hey, thank you. Yeah, now that I could need you know, a lab or anything to study these samples. Stop drinking coffee. Shut up. Uh, Alright, we're going to watch football in the next episode.
Stop talking to me. I'm just gonna <laughs> stand right here till you go to sleep. Okay, well, you guys have a good night. Like and subscribe. <laughs> oh my god. This is the killer. Did you get that? You okay? Yes. You okay, you okay buddy? Alright, while well, she watches football, we're being next episode. Okay, have a good night.